YouTube. Hello, YouTube archive. You have begun. Okay. <laughs> and make sure this is... Everything's updated and everything. Forgot to do one thing before I begin. I want to make sure to have my Discord chat open because I did have people messaging me on the Discord last time, which I'm supposed to monitor it, and I didn't last time, so I apologize for the few people that messaged me there. Um, now it is up. So if you message me on Discord via the broken chat box, then I will see your chat as well, hopefully. Or I'll completely ignore it again like I did last time. Seriously apologize for that. Oh, I also need to pop out my chat. Uh, how do I do this? I, rem I don't remember anymore. Oh my goodness, I forgot how to do this already. Where is it? There it is. Okay. I guess I prematurely started the chat before I was ready. Or chat, wow. The stream before I was ready. I apologize for that. There we go. Now I've got my chat open. Okay, cool. Booyah. So, last time, I streamed for seven hours, and I was tired, and I completely forgot where we were overnight. But I remember that we were... Oh yeah, I was catching up back to where I was, and then we were trying to get back to um, the mansion, and not get squished by a wall, because I suck at puzzles. So I guess that's what we're trying to do. Um, I know that there's lizard people now, which we have to deal with. I forgot to put away the ink ribbon. Cool, cool. But yeah, we have the helmet key, which means we can open all the locked doors inside the mansion that aren't locked by mechanical things, I guess. And I'm questioning whether or not I should use the magnum to take out those lizard people, because apparently it one-shots them. Which was pretty great, actually. Um, I think I'm going to try and save it. And I'm just going to bring a heal instead. Because they, like, they like seem to one-shot me, which is pretty scary. So... Yeah, I guess I guess that's what we're doing. Oh man, I'm so excited to keep going with this game. I don't know if I need to burn them. Oh, I should bring the kerosene with me. Because I don't know if I'm going to need that as well. Um, where is the kerosene? I put it in here, right? It's not like gone forever. Where? Where are you? There you are, fuel canister. Yee. Okay, cool. Now we should be good. Oh yeah, I can rotate. Forgot about that. <clears throat> um, it's going to take me a second to remember the map. Hasn't been that long. I slept most of the day, and so most of my memories are just be sleeping. Um, yeah, so we pretty much got everything that was in here. Um, what's in there? Oh wait, there's a green herb and stuff. Oh yeah, I was gonna grab those real quick. Eh, whatever, I might die again, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'll take one of these and put it in the box. Just in case. There we go. And then there's jump scare Ville over there. Ugh. <laughs> Can't believe it got me every time. Every single freaking time. And I knew it would be there every single freaking time. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll store this in the box. It doesn't seem like we can really run out of space inside of our box, so just storing everything inside the box doesn't seem like a bad idea. And we should be able to just leave, I guess. And then we go back to the mansion and it's going to be like, there's lizard people now. I don't remember what they're called. I completely forgot what they're called. I don't know if they're in the other games or not. But yeah, now we got a bunch of dogs to deal with and stuff. Um, oh wait, hold on. There was something I wanted to try, wasn't there? Oh yeah, there was that basement area. We did check that, right? Yeah, I believe we did. Hold on one second. There is the electrical component that needs something in there, right? It says we got everything from down there. And then in that... And this room was just a bottle. Should we make another one of those? No, I won't. I won't bother right now. And here is the blue herb, and then here is a green herb. So I guess there's nothing over here that would help. And we don't have anything like that. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Never mind. We'll continue where we're gone. <laughs> but yeah, there's like the elevator to this area. Then we need to figure out something to get there with. There used to be snakes here, but now there's not. Oh my god, it's Brad! Alpha T, come in! Yeah, Valentine. It's Valentine, right? Shit. Yeah, it's broken. We know. Alright. That looks suspicious. Can I check it? Nope. Okay. Cool. There's a red herb here. Should I take that? 
Nah, I only one slot open. I already took a full heal. The spray. Huh. Where's the other dog? Nice. Alright. Yes, there's a reason I did that. Because over here, this is what I was talking about. This. The battery has been taken out. So there's a battery somewhere. Um. Hmm. Some kind of transparent creature is swimming around in the water. Huh? That's creepy. Is that just for creepy factor or is that like actually a thing? But yeah, so right here, there's a waterfall. And if we close the valve with the, the crank, I think we can go through there, which means that we want this elevator activated so we can go back there. I just don't know how to do that because I don't know where the battery is. So if we find a battery, we know where it goes to. There's blue herbs down here. But yeah, this is where we get that cutscene to where it's like, there's the lizard man now. And they show up immediately. Oh, snakes. Forgot about these. Ah! No! Ah! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm poisoned. Ah, oh, crab. If I would have remembered, I would have brought the mixed herbs, not the spray. Dang it. Alright, that's okay. There's a blue herb back here. I think. I hope I left it this time. I don't remember if I did or not. I didn't wash my face today. It's bad. I'm supposed to wash your face every day. Yeah, right here. There we go. Give me that poison relief. What happens if you run out of blue herbs and you're poisoned? Do you just... Is that just the end of you? That just death? Where's a wear off? It's found, but there's no water coming out. Oh, I bet if we turn the crank, then water will be here. Oh, hold on. I don't have the crank with me, but we should bring the crank back and see if that if that's the case. Because if that's the case, there might be something there. Oh, but there's a bunch of doors we can open too. I shouldn't. I don't know if I should waste my time going backwards. And we'll figure out what we do. Yep, take my battery. These were left by Burry. Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing and chains. Went ahead and fixed that piece of crap door to Burry. And we got acid shells. Okay. So did we kill the little girl with J-Vault or did we kill it with the acid shells? Oh, we can't carry any more items. I forgot that they were going to give us that. Um... Um, there's still stuff in the courtyard. Definitely stuff in the courtyard. The residence is pretty much done, though. So I guess it's time to just do this stuff. This madness. This madness begins. I forgot they give us healing items. We've been through this part before because I died. So I know what we're doing. We, we'll need that emblem later. I think. This is where it is. <laughs> Chasing us or whatever. Yeah, this cutscene. Skip it. Ah, oh, fucking look at him. Then shoot. Two. Three. Takes three shots. Okay. Uh, I can only kill one more of those. All right, so let's go ahead. Yikes. Um, kind of want to go this way. Go to the box and grab either my grenade launcher or the magnum. Because I don't have any shotgun ammo. Let's try it. Let's just go this way. Hope we don't die. Hope there's not another lizard creep, because if there's another lizard creep, we might be in trouble. Yep, there's another lizard creep. All right, cool. We'll uh, shoot him with a magnum. Okay. Now that we're in here, we're nice and safe. Oh, a bunch of ammo. I mean, I'll take it. 
I don't know why it's here, but I'll take it. Oh, and I'm also injured. That's fine. I expected that to happen. Does that clear out this room? Yeah, it does. Burry just leaving us ammo for whatever reason. Okay. So that gives us 12 acid shots. Our shotgun is pretty much moot at this point. We're supposed to use those on the lady that's bulletproof. Huh. So maybe I'll take the magnum. It's a magnum rounds. Huh. Ugh, this does not leave us a lot of space available. We'll use that. There we go. Now we're fine. All right, we shouldn't need more than six shots, I'm going to hope. So we're going to go ahead and store the magnum rounds so we can take the fuel canteen. And I just don't know. I wish I had more shotgun ammo. Well, I'm going to stack my ribbons real quick. Two ribbons. There we go. Okay. So what we did last time was we went down here, I believe. I think so. So we might try that again. Because that's where the wall puzzle was. So we'll go ahead and equip that. And we shoot this guy on the forehead. Solving it the American way. Oh, shiz. Oh, he's like on my buttle. Oh, I didn't kill him one shot. Oh, uh, frick. All right. I don't want to waste all my bullets on him. Oh, come on, shoot him. <sighs> Fine then. <laughs> well, he is dead. But Jesus, that took a lot of bullets. All right. Well, we know where we're going. Um, frick, so that door is closed, so I just locked myself in a little bit of a travel here. That's fine. We're gonna equip this just in case. Because we see a lizard man, we don't want to die to him. Because I don't want to have to run all the way back again. Got camera angles. There we go. Now we should be in the main room. Yes. Yeah, now we're in the main room. Okay. This room seems to be generally safe-ish. So we should be good. But this is where we want to go. Or where I'm going to go, more accurately. Not where we want to go, but it's where I'm going to go. Wait, no, this wasn't where I went. I went somewhere else. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while, because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Okay. There's some kind of internal organs inside. Can't tell whether it came from a human or an animal. An elaborate fashion globe. There we go. A portrait of a woman with a sad look in her eyes. Oh, it's a hallway over here. Alright, what does this room actually look like? Okay, so it's like a long gated room. Gotcha. So there's a secret door behind a painting. Could this be a telescope? looks pretty old. That's actually a beautiful painting. I like them. I like the paintings. They look good. Huh. What about back here? Ribbons! Uh, no, we'll just remember they're there. Gotcha. Internal organs. We don't need those right now. I mean, we have the ones that we need. And there's just the door at the end of the hallway, right? 
Yes, but there's a secret door over here. How do we access it? Is the question. Hmm. Telescope, and then we have a globe. Can I push the globe at all? Frickin' camera angle won't let me. Nope. Can't push it all. Is anything else pushable in here? This pushable? This pushable? This pushable? No. Any of these paintings have anything? Hmm. In the back of the art gallery. I mean, I assume it's that one. Like, it's got to be, like, this one right here, right? Because if we look on the map, we can see that there's a room back there. Sad look in her eyes. I assume it's that one, but... Maybe it's in this room. I don't know what's going to be in this room, though. So, uh... Prepare the buttocks. Clench. Oh. Okay. We can take care of this guy with a handgun. That's what I thought. Piotch. Get a dagger. Are we going to get attacked from the curtains? Go down? Okay. Oh, is this another jewelry box? Um. Yeah, we'll take it. Nothing over there? Oh, you're still alive. Okay, cool. Well, now he's headless. Cool. No longer a problem. All right, what does this room actually look like? Just a square. Okay. So is this where the secret room is? No, I don't want the herb. Dang it. All right, let's examine this bad boy. Something unusual. That looks pretty unusual around. There was a round recession, approximately four centimeters in diameter. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Hmm. All right, so this one actually requires something, I guess. Maybe. Four centimeters in diameter. I don't know if we have anything that fits that description. Well, now that his head's gone, he won't come back as a crimson head, so we don't have to worry about, like, burning him. But that's not all that's in this room, and I know it. Mm. Oh, so there's just a plant of, like, blue herbs, so if we need blue herbs, we can always go back there. Good to know. So we did- what door did we go through last time? I don't remember now. I still have the archives, so I could go back and look at them, but... Feels like cheating. All right, so I assume the the jewelry box will probably open up something that we use here, but I'm just not sure what to do with it yet. So I guess we'll try a different door. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Hopefully the headless can't come back as zombies, because I I feel like Resident Evil is one of those games that kind of like you know did the whole oh if it's got no head it ain't coming back. Oh, we probably went. We probably went to here, huh? We might try to go to there, because if I was up in that hallway already, then it would have made sense that I would go up there. So let's try that. Did I reload? Yeah. The music feels a little different. That's unsettling. Oop, fuck. <laughs> thunder! The thunder comes before the lightning, by the way. Not after. Oh no, it does come after. I'm an idiot, shut up! <laughs> yeah, so we go north from here. Just back through where we came. I'm kinda glad we checked that room though. We have a jewelry box now. What we'll do with said jewelry box, I'm not sure yet. But if we find a pearl, we'll know where it goes. Or something like a pearl. Or heck, maybe we already have something. And I just don't know it yet. Are you dead dead? 
Please don't be back. Nope, he's dead dead. Okay, cool. So I'm okay with using some ammo to get rid of him. If they're just gone after they die, fine. It's all good. That's a bueno. Okay, you... You go in here, because I don't know what to do with you yet. Then we can take... A magnet rounds, put them in there. Okay. Yeah, so I only have three shotgun shells, it looks like. Nothing else in here. Dang. Gosh, part of me really wants to go back and try that crank. Alright, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go back and try the crank. Just because I, I need to try it. Just out of curiosity's sake, I have to go back and try it. Okay. The doorknob has been repaired? Oh yeah, you fixed the crap door. Duh. Wait. <laughs> I didn't need to go around. I am a doofs. It's just gone now? Okay. If I would have remembered that, I just would have taken the crank when we went this direction and not had to worry about it. Okay. Just be careful because those lizard people are out now. And they could be anywhere because this game has been telling me this entire time now that they can just show up now. There's heals, so on our way back we can pick up at least one of those. Hopefully I don't lock myself out of stuff. That'd be bad. We do have the J-Vault, though. Seems clear. Alright. So let's try turning the crank. Getting the water to flow and see if it actually makes that waterfall go. I don't assume it will. But I'm more or less curious. Creepy noises going on in the background, because of course. Sounds of waterfalls seem to have stopped. Yeah, there we go. Probably doesn't help us at all yet, but that's fine. I think there's something else that activates this. Nope, it didn't activate. Okay. Because the first time we went there, it wasn't active either. I just I just felt like I had to. Because we did drain the water from the other place, so maybe it would like be a water pressure thing or something. I don't know. Uh, but we will pick up one of these and take it with us. Yes, I will take it with me. That way, we have an extra heal on us at all times. Yay. Okay. Keep an appealed eye out. You never know what's gonna pop up on us. Okay, so now that our door's fixed. It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. Alright, where else can we go? Well, we could go up and go and try that room at the end. Like I presume we did, did last time. Not 100% sure if I did or not, but... I want to find that puzzle room again, because I want to try it again without dying. Two, three, four, up, two, three, four. And, uh... Yeah, this is the door, right? Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. I forgot to put the healing spray away. <laughs> Just realized, I'm like, I don't have any inventory space. I want to put the healing spray in the crane away. Crank. Crane. Crane. 
Right, and it's working for the GRE. Spoilers. <laughs> for a completely different game. Don't worry, he rises up. Oh, it's V-Jolt, sorry. Not Jolt V, or J-Vilt. Could also put this in the tiger thing. We don't necessarily have a reason to yet. Because all it does is give a shotgun ammo. Oh my god, maybe there is a reason. <laughs> it gives a shotgun ammo. Is that... Is that on our way? No, it's all on the other side. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about it for now. I'm okay with my magnum. Meow. Into the rooms ahead, gonna view what's going on in here. If I remember correctly, this is the trap room, and then we're gonna solve the trap. Yeah, this is the room I died on. Okay, cool. We're gonna push you out here. There's no way to go there. Yeah, then that gets stuck there. Over here, there's a way to get to the other side of it. And there's a button here. Then we gotta run! <laughs> yes, there's a doorway over there. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna... Frick. I'm gonna try that again. Whoa! Camera, I don't want to get stuck again. Because last time, what happened was I was pushing the thing back, and we were on the side where the wall was just gonna smoosh our faces. Okay, we'll push this. Run! Then we'll go through here. Oh, that's not a doorway. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, I gotta push this into that, huh? Oh man, how do I do that without dying? Hmm. Picture of a mother and child. Upon closer examination, left hand at side looks like someone's face. I sort of see it. Cool. Okay, so I know what we're doing now. Push this all the way over. Hear me out. Wait for it to finish. Now go back here. Up, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, camera angles, oh my god. <laughs> Frick, I didn't push it far enough. No, my progress! <laughs> well, that'll fix this. Up, two, three, four, do, 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 do. Ooh, fucking camera angles. Okay, now you push it, push it, push it three times, and then, is that far enough? God damn it, it's not close enough. Frick! <laughs> I think you see what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to slot it. Like this other one. Camera angles don't make this any easier. I could probably switch to tank controls just for this section. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is that a secret room or? Well, there's a battery. I will take that. 
And there's a hole? Um. Where would that lead? Huh. I don't know if I'm that brave yet. I have a lot of doors I could check. Okay, like three, but... <laughs> Well, you know what they say. You either do it or you don't. And we're gonna do it. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I don't have any healing on me. Will you take the last book? Oh, hello. Hold on, let's examine this one first. Eagle of South Wolf of North. <laughs> okay. Eagle of South Wolf of North. In other words, it looks like it opens! Eagle of South Wolf of North. What? <laughs> Eagle. Eagle. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory, with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde. Formaldehyde? Oh, formaldehyde. Sorry, I could have read that word. And those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. That name has such like feeling for me. <laughs> it's so great. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink in the past few days. I feel like we're going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with the designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was dark and damp underground tunnel. Did I read that right? Oh, it was a. <laughs> it was a dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end. But even in the dark, something caught my eye. Careful. I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name. George Trevor. At that instance, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right for that terror trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because for my ego, or of my, because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. A name carved into the grave, small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. Uh, hold on. What else is in here? Uh, little tiny bugs. Are there any bugs in here? I know there's a spider wandering around my apartment and I'm not happy with it. Uh, alright. Uh, I'm not comfortable with this <laughs> at all. Oh, of course, spiders, because why wouldn't there be spiders? Because why wouldn't there be spiders? Frick, I'm going to be poisoned. Yep, frick. That's why there was poison in the art room. I hear you.
Okay. Wait. A map? Mansion B1? Oh, we're in the basement basement now. Oh, we're over here! Okay, cool. Um... What is that? Is that a battery? Oh no, it's shotgun shells. Oh, we can't carry it right now. But we know they're there. Nothing over there? Okay. I should look at what this room actually looks like. I'm gonna rearrange my seating. So this is gonna lead right to the uh, kitchen area. Which, I believe there's a zombie or two in there. Or, whoops. Frick. There might be a crimson head in there too. Um, because I believe there was one corpse and I'm not sure if I burned it or not. That's dead. They don't come back either. Um, frick. What are we gonna run into? Five magnum shots left. Poisoned and I'm slowly dying. I don't have healing, so I probably gotta hurry. I should just use two magnum shots. That was a waste. Oh, he was all the way the fuck over there. Oh, he's not. Yeah, I'll take that. And now we'll walk away. Oh, and I got back up, too. Hold on, hold on. I want this. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna take that. Okay, that one's down. Hold on, I'm gonna use this so I don't die. Okay. I heard them both fall, but I doubt this one's dead. Yeah, he's not dead. Okay. So we got a rev herd there. We do need to somewhat heal. What's this gonna lead into? Electrical box. Oh, this is going to be the power to the elevator. Looks like the power supply. For the elevator, the main fuse is blown out. Switch over? Yes. It's be functioning again. Okay, cool. So the elevator works now. Whatever that does for us. The red herb on itself, or by itself, doesn't do anything. There are a number of small objects on the shelf. Looking closer, you notice the seal of the raccoon city on a broken dish. Ooh. Small number of objects on the shelf. Yeah, okay. Take the handgun magazine. Hell yeah. Did that actually add to it or? I don't know. Alright, um. I'm gonna go back and grab the uh, shotgun ammo. And I'm just gonna hope like hell that we can get out of here without dying. I knew jumping down here was a bad idea, but I'm okay with like the result so far. As long as I don't die. Yeah, so we're gonna take this. Because from, from here, we can get to our safe box. Pretty easily. As long as we don't go in here and there's like a big cutsy dude. And he just cuts us open. But I have the magnum. So I should be okay? I shouldn't waste the ammo on it though. We'll just leave the red herb. Nothing I can do about it now. There's no way to like swap items is there? Alright, so this goes into the kitchen area. There's going to be at least one zombie in here. Or not. <laughs> there was. Um, oops. Where does this lead? This leads to a room I don't necessarily want to go to. The music changed.
go back and get the elevator, if we can. Because I believe if we bring it up there, it'll be fine. Because that was the power, right? There is a zombie over there. You can hear it, right? Yeah! Nope. Forgot you can't walk around or shoot around tables for whatever reason. Okay. Got you. Alright. Yeah, there used to be a corpse here too. Right here. Yeah! There we go. Now I don't know where this is going to take us, but we have an elevator now. I knew there was going to be a zombie in there. Should have burned it. Now I have a horrible feeling. I don't know if this is going to take us to the door I was thinking it was. This did not take me where I thought it was going to. Where did this take us? Oh, we're in a whole new area now. Oh dear. Yeah, I hear you. Hello, Moth. Oh shit. He was a little closer than I thought he was. Oh, there's more of them too. Are you dead? I'm gonna burn this one. Not necessary to use right now. Uh oh. Is he still alive then? No? I just wasn't in the right spot, I guess. Use. There we go. Ugh, I don't like being in caution, especially when my inventory is full. Alright, what type of room is this? Man. We can exit out of the side room, it looks like. So we might try to do that real quick. We run past this and there's a hallway here? Nope. Nope. Is it this hallway? Frick, I don't know where it is. There it is. Was that a headshot? Sounded like a headshot. That was a headshot. Definitely a headshot. Cool. Okay. So, there's a small room here. But I really don't like being low on health. Please be openable. Yes. Okay. Um, we can go in here and then immediately go left. And try to go and heal. I don't want to redo all this stuff. Yep, goodbye. I hate that hallway. That hallway has caused me a lot of grief. Okay, so from here, we can try going into that room and then going down there to my nice classical spot. Or we can run to the other side to where we know it's a safe travel. I might go with safety just because I'm low on health and I don't know what else they're going to spawn here. So I'm going to go with safety for now. And then I'm going to grab the shotgun and use the shotgun instead of magnum because the magnum, although it's powerful, it doesn't seem to be as powerful as I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would like one shot these guys. Actually, I'm gonna stay keep it equipped. It one shot the lizard guy once. Last time. He was just like pow and he was down. But uh this time that wasn't the case.
Also, I realized that other th door is 3D, which means that things can go through it. Which scares me a little bit. Alright, but yeah. This spot seems safe. This is our new safe haven. <laughs> While the other one's now the danger zone. Because last time, the other spot was the danger zone. Or this was the danger zone because we didn't have that door available. Okay. We're going to heal up real quick. Definitely going to be the first thing we got. Alright, so we have a volume one of a book. What it does, I don't know yet. We want a green herb. Keep those. Put that away. Um, where's the shotgun? Not that shotgun. We want that shotgun. There we go. Yeah. So two green herbs. Just combine those real quick. Uh, do we have any mixed herbs already? We do. We'll just use that. I don't want to waste too many of my herbs. So we'll use that. That'll heal us up. We'll equip this. Oh man, I am starting to run out of ammo. I knew it would happen eventually. Um, we could go grab more herbs too. Oh, we can't go through that room though. Um... Yeah, so the next place that we gotta go is that space we were just in, I assume. Oh, we can also go to the attic through um, this door up here. Um, and then we can also try this door here. But I'm very curious what's in this room. So we might try that first, just because we were already there. Oh, I'm at a, or I don't have a kerosene thing either. Or I only have one kerosene. Oh, I didn't burn that body. Oh wait, no, because I got a headshot. Never mind. We're good. Should have saved more kerosene. Alright. This way. Because I don't think that doorknob's fixed yet. Or if it ever will be. It's funny to me that uh Burry fixed that door. Because he's just like, sitting there, he's just like, I don't like this door being broken. So he just like took a screwdriver, took a trip from the hardware store and fixed it. Quite comical to me, I don't know why. Oops, wrong button. Okay, yeah, so we're going to head over here. Upstairs. Only got nine shots. Oh, man. Nine shafts. Takes three to kill a lizard man. So yeah, if we take that other doorway, hold on. I'm curious. This good old pathway. Let's check it real quick, just because it's going to be a small room. That's unnerving. There's a thing on it. the dagger oh whoops mail to the chief of security attention or attend I guess I don't know what they're supposed to be abbreviating there chief of security July 22nd 1998 2 or 13 X day is drawing up on us execute the following procedures within one week prompt actions are demanded there were stars to the estate and obtain bows of raw combat data against stars. Oh, so they were being lured to the mansion. That's why they were in the mansion. I get it. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. 
Ensure complete disposal of the Ark Lay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situation, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Incorporated. I'm gonna write that down. Ah. I know that we have these notes in our like inventory, but it's much easier for me to remember if I write it down. Five, oops, fuck. <laughs> Five, six, nine, one. Um, extension. Number. There we go. Now we have a note. And we can use that note for the future reference. That way, if we get screwed, we'll know what the number is. Whether it's relevant or not, I don't know. Chair squeaks. That's chair squeaks. All right. Jesus, so many squeaks. Not in the same position I was before. It's very uncomfortable now. All right. Oh, huh, hold on. Do I want it this way or do I want it that way? Take the grenade shells? Not yet. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. Alright, a clank. Oh, the eagle. Hold on. Oh, what was the title of that book? Do I need that book to finish this one? Okay, I've got an idea. Hold on. We're going to reset this room real quick. Because I hear the clanks, and I think the clanks might mean something. We might need the book, but we have a box right there, so we can just go grab the book. Okay, then we push it in. Trophy of a bowl. Mm-hmm. We got two slots. We'll, we'll grab these real quick. Oop, no, nope, don't push it. Don't push it. Climb it. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I think it has something to do with these uh, ornaments up here. Trophy of a deer. Maybe not. Can I push this outward yet? Oh no. Mm. Let's try resetting it again. Let's try touching the eagle this time. Oh, I should have put the grenade shells away. Whoops. Oh well. Okay. 
yeah, so you hear it like this. Oh. Hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna try touching the eagle real quick, but I realized we could sneak under it to like stop it or to make it not move. Oh, I can't move any farther than that. Hello, eagle. Hmm. Won't let me move it any farther. So we can technically do it from here. Okay, so that'll that'll work. Okay, I want to test my theory. Uh, well, fuck! Don't get down! Oh no! I didn't do anything. Can I shoot it? Nope. That was just wasting ammo. Hmm. Alright, maybe I do need the book. Eagle of the North Wolf. And something about the South. Anything about this picture? No? Huh. Alright, let's go to our box. We have a wooden mount. A crank. And that one thingy. listening <laughs> that's how I've been mostly figuring out if there's zombies or not is just listening okay huh so I think that room is relevant to the book this one so if we go and examine it Eagle of South, Wolf of North. Okay, so Eagle of South, Wolf of North. So we want it... Oh, now it'll let me open it? Wait, what? Oh my god. All right. Never mind. Found inside the last book, volume one. Is there a special way to use it? I don't know. Let's probably try binding it with that. Nope. And there's nothing we can do with this. It's around recession, approximately four centimeters in diameter. So, yeah, these seem irrelevant. Huh. Okay. What could that go to? Eagle of North. That doesn't look like an eagle. That looks like a phoenix. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, but yeah, so... Eagle of North... Wolf of South. So maybe there's a... Maybe there's a uh, wolf emblem? I still feel like it relates to what we were just doing in that room, though. So I'm gonna go try something real quick.
nothing down here? I'm afraid to go check. Alright. <laughs> There's windows over there. And as we learned, windows no bueno. Okay. Yeah, so... back here hmm this might relate to something else Like, it opens up something somewhere else to where one's a bull and one's a deer. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to remember that room and come back later. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what the relevance of that would be. I simply can't think of anything. There is that room with the bed in it. Let's just do what we know we can do now and deal with things one step at a time, I guess. We still have this mansion key. Um, what other doors can we open with this? We might want to go and try to open doors just so we can get rid of the key so we have another inventory slot. So if we go back to... Our map here. What other doors are there to open with this? There's the uh, the attic key. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick, just for comfort, because that is like an hour of progress on the stream. I guess. I mean, it would only take me like 20 minutes or whatever to redo it, but like, yeah. I feel like I, I went through that pretty, pretty efficiently, for the most part. Oh, fucking camera angles. <laughs> Sometimes! We still got eight. We know where three more are. They're in the art room. Eagle have anything to do with the art room? I didn't see anything we could slot. Okay, so we want to go... That way. The end of this hallway. Let's hope like hell there's not a crimsy. Because if there's a crimsy, we're in bad shape. Yep. Okay, then this should be the uh, trap room to where we got the armor key. Yes. From here. Hello, fake key. Yes, okay, so now we got rid of the key. Awesome. Let's go ahead and see what's in here, real quick. I'm rubbing my arm against the table, it doesn't feel good. That's a weird look. A collection of philosophy books. They're all about the eternal question of life and death. So that's what this room looks like. Herbs? That's good. Uh, is this a snake? Hold on. Or is that something else? Sound like slithering and gross, slimy stuff, which might be a snake or it might not be a snake. But I'm gonna grab these herbs. I'm gonna go ahead and combine them real quick. Just in case we need to heal from this.
Fucking Christ. Yep, snake. All right. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> it was on to my plan. Where's it coming? Oh fuck, I didn't mean to reload. Ah! Yikes, that would hurt so bad. Richard knows how that feels, I bet. Okay, so is this the final showdown with this guy? Also, here's a library I feared. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. If it's such a big snake, you move so slow. <laughs> I'm running away from you because you got big giant teeth and you're scary. Oh, goodness, you very scary. Fuck, how did that miss? Ah, frick. I don't want to waste all my shotgun ammo on you, but I might have to. Let me use that real quick. Oh, walking away. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup, that's the thing we're doing. Oh, shit. Get some distance real quick. Boo. And aim at the tail. Oh, is it coming back this way? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're gonna walk this way. <laughs> is it dead? Aw, oh, fuck yeah, whatever that is, I want it. Chain snake got nothing. I got an achievement, so I'm gonna assume it's dead. We're gonna reload. All right, what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. What else is in this room? Apparently nothing. It's a good thing I grabbed those herbs. Chairs for browsing. All right. Well, that's how that went. I was expecting that to be a boss, but I feel like I handled that pretty well. So after our kill, we're gonna spend some time reading some books. We're gonna enjoy our uh, our time here. Am I supposed to go to the south of it? How did I open it before? There we go. Just has to be like dead on. The metal hidden inside the book, it's a wolf. All right. Where is this gonna lead us to? Oh, this leads us back here. Oh! The knob is broken. Doesn't look like it'll be open or it'll open. Okay, cool. So I don't know if we found the right path or if we just found an alternate path. Cause that was the door I was gonna go to regardless. But, huh. So, there's this room here, and there's something still in that room. I think there was a bunch of herbs. So, this room is the only room I can think of besides this room. That we have anything we can do in. Because in here is just herbs, I think. In here is the art room that has secrets. Maybe it's in the art room? Somewhere? And then we have that jewelry box, which has something to it. It says there's something up here, too. Huh. Oh wait, though, no, it's because we set that thing inside the the chamber. Are we getting close to the end of this game? Alright, so 
the next spot we gotta go is up here, I assume. So I guess that's where we're headed. Ugh. All right, killed the giant snake today. We're good. I feel all right. So I've avenged Richard, the long lost Richard. I used his shotgun. I hope he feels honored in what type of hell we ended up in. We also have that number. Just double checking what door I want to take. But yeah, if we, uh, We can do this well. I'm trying to think. Maybe when the eel's in a specific spot? Because one way is north and one way is south. It's the only thing I can think of for that room. You know what, maybe I should check that empty room first. Let's do that, let's just go check the empty room first. That makes the most sense. Just cause it could give us tools that we need. I do feel like that has something to do with that room, but I'm not sure. Like that room is completely blank. Unless we need the wooden mount for something. Or is that for something extra that I just didn't get? Like, maybe the wooden mount isn't for anything. Maybe it's just for, like, a secret. We'll keep an eye out. It is courteous of the game's map to tell us where things need to be done, where things have been done. That does make this a little bit easier to kind of determine where we need to go. But it still leaves so many question marks. We need to go out here, go through that other door, and then it'll be right to the right. Okay, we could have just gone through that long hallway there, but I wanted to store things. Well, more accurately, I wanted to try the other room, but eh, we ain't gonna do it. Okay, yeah, this one. Actually, hold on. Was there ever any relevance to the stained glass windows? Because there was the one with the witch, too. I guess not. They were just there to be creepy, I guess. Yeah. So this room we've never been into. So I have no idea what we're going to run into. Oh, battery. Okay, cool. We know where that goes. Oh, that might be where we need to go next. Actually, now that I think about it. Hell yeah, Magnum rounds. What is this grenade? Yeah, acid shells. Shelf is full of dust covered props and deer trophies. Um, and it doesn't look like anything else in that room is going to be relevant yet. But there is that elevator, but apparently we can't take the elevator anymore. It's red. Hmm. So that was just to unlock this area, but it was for the battery. So if we needed to do this to get to the battery, then that means we need that battery to get to the waterfall. And maybe the waterfall has something to do with those emblems. So we might actually not be done with the uh, the mansion yet. Dang. I want to be done with the mansion. <laughs> I kind of want to be done with the game. Not because I want it to end, but because I want to be at the end. I want to say I beat it. 
It's a better way to put it. Okay, so we need to take the crank and the battery, and we need to go back to where we were before. I assume there's going to be some shenanigans that show up. So we'll do that. So we're saving again. Not really. We killed a boss, but... That is my problem with the limited save system, is like, I just don't want to save, but that's kind of the point. That fear of losing progression is like... One of the drawing factors in a lot of these older games, is like, the idea of having to restart is like, enough of a factor to be like, Oh, I don't want to die! And to actually start questioning a lot of your actions. We got a ton of acid shells. 18 of the fricks. But I'm still afraid to use them. We're probably going to run into what's-her-face over there, though. I'm going to reload my magnum. Just because why not. Okay. We only got five, five shotgun shells. But I feel like we could find more. I should be using the grenade launcher at this point, huh? Hmm. Let's swap out the uh, handgun for the grenade launcher. Oops. And we'll take the uh, acid rounds with us. For Barry saying that that thing was immune to bullets, it uh wasn't immune to bullets, unless he's talking about the little girl, but I don't feel like it was. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure on her relevance. I think we need to use v -Jolt on her, but I'm not... I'm not 100% on it. Huh. Could do... You know what? We're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna go put the blue gemstone... in and get that shotgun ammo. Because I want that shotgun ammo. And then we're going to grab those herbs that are in the hallway, because we can. Hopefully. There's going to be two zombies in this room, and I only have one kerosene. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid of those windows. You gonna get back up? Or are you done? You might be done. You're done. Cool. I'm listening for footsteps. I think he's just standing at the door. So we can whiz on by him. Okay. So we got one one shotgun ammo and we used our kerosene, so we don't want to kill the other one because it'll become a crimson, unless I want to kill a crimson. Which at this point might not actually be all that hard. Alright, so this, we can use this. And this will give us our shotgun ammo. And then we'll have more shots in our shotgun for the next bit. Strategizing with freaking ammo now. Yep, I'll take that. And then with that... We can kill more things, and we have one less item that we have to worry about putting somewhere. So there's gonna be a yellow jewel somewhere. How much you want to bet it's gonna be on the little girl? Because I guarantee that's gonna be the case. All right, we could kill the other zombie just so we have a shortcut there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, we do have the battery. Okay, so we'll. Fuck! I shouldn't have taken the battery out here. Because if I didn't take the battery, I could have taken all the herbs. In the other room. We'll do that real quick. Hold on. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna go put it away and then grab all those herbs and then put them in the thing. Because I don't want to have to go back to that area as much, like, avoid it as much as possible. Which is pretty much any room in here. 
like long story short i want to like i want to make areas complete that way i don't have to go back to them and i don't have to waste resources going there does that make sense because now that i know they can come back to life which they showed off pretty dang early in this game i want to make sure that i'm covering my tracks as much as possible I just want to make sure I don't have anything else I can take for the launcher. Nope, okay. We do have quite a few heals. We have like six of them? Six or seven? Maybe. We have like eight full heals. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we have a ton of full heals. We just have to have them on us when we go and do stuff. Which I haven't been doing. <laughs> that has bitten us twice. Well... To be fair, once was a once was a wall. I don't think herbs would stop a wall. Unless you had a lot of them. And just like, you know, piled them up. Overconfidence. Walk into a zombie, have to stab it in the forehead. Oh, I also have those defensive items. Okay, but yeah, in here. These things. Hell yeah. We're gonna take all these green herbs. Take this one. Take this one. And we're gonna take this one as well. Oh wait, I can't carry any more items. Hold on. I'm gonna combine these. Then I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna take it. Alright, cool. Yeah, and this completes this area except for the tiger. And there's one zombie over there, but he's like at the door going rawr. So we don't have to worry about it. We can easily run by him. And if he becomes a problem, when we come back, we'll be able to shotgun him in the face. And then he won't be a problem. <laughs> Just back. Bow. All right. Okay, so now we can store some stuff. Store this. And we'll store this. For now, we're going to hold on to this, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the other spot. And then since I feel like that's sort of a checkpoint, I'm going to save because that's when we're going back into the water section. We're putting the battery down. Or we could go and put the battery down and then come back and then save. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, hopefully something terrible doesn't happen. I'm gonna be confident enough. I have healing on me. I hope that's a full heal. So we'll do that. So, where do I go from here? I'll go out to the main hall. This way. And then we go through the hallway to where Richard was bitten. And then we should head out door there and then go outside. I don't remember this map now. It's quite lovely. Makes me feel special. <laughs> I like being able to remember the maps on games because I'm not the best at memory. And then after we do the battery, we should have that elevator that we can just go back and forth between. Right? I think. Hopefully. Let's get eaten by snakes. The shadow looked weird for a second. I am going the right way, right? Yeah. Can I just use this door? Uh, this game has so much walking around. Go down here. Wait, could I have just gone from the first floor? I don't think so. Could I have? Oh, technically I could have gone from outside. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We went this way. This door's fixed anyways. Thanks, Burry. Burry's a good guy. He finds a doorknob and he's like, I'm gonna go fix that door for us. So he fixed the door for us. That was kind of him. 
Still makes me laugh that he was just like, I'm gonna fix this door. Just sat there fixing a door. Doesn't matter, there's lizard people walking around, zombies, a fucking giant snake. He's just like, I'm gonna fix this door. He fixed that door. He fixed it good. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a full heal there. I forgot about that. Okay. So from here... Uh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Nope, that's the right one. I'm gonna go through the door and then figure out where it puts us. I keep forgetting where it puts us. Should be pretty straightforward from here. Yeah. So if we go this way, this is where the water is, and then we go over here, and the battery should be here, and this is the elevator, and then it'll just take us up and down. And this should be the waterfall, which should lead into a whole nother area right here. I don't remember what this is. We've never been there before. So there's something that leads here. Maybe it's something to do with this? Or maybe that's where the waterfall leads. I don't know, we'll find out. Figuring out as we go. boop doo Should I make a three mix? Because I only have a two mix right now. Eh, whatever. I think two is a full heal. I think. No, that can't be a full heal, because then what would be the point of having the red herbs? Eh. Whatever. Also, it says I clipped my mic. I apologize for that. I don't know how. <laughs> Skip. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Okay. Now we gotta deal with all the snakes. I bet I can kill them, but I kind of put away the magnum. Or not, yeah, handgun. Whatever. I keep calling it a magnum. And technically the magnum is like the big gun. Ah, god damn it, that snake gets me every time. Stop it! Ah, oh, frick, I forgot that we're gonna poison me too. Ah, uh, but there's blue herbs down here. We're okay, we're okay. And then once the battery's in, wait, did I grab the battery? <laughs> Hold on. I didn't grab the battery. <laughs> uh, frick. I didn't grab the battery. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. I... Oh, fucking goddamn it. Something gets me every time. Yeah, yeah, you guys are jerks. I am so upset. I forgot the battery. That was the whole entire point of me running over here and I forgot the battery. I'm surprised this is the first time this has happened. <laughs> mm. We have one less herb now. Two less. Three. Three. Cause I'm gonna need to heal again. Ugh. Damn. It's upsetting. We're gonna leave that there because we're gonna grab a blue herb. We're on our way there, and I can just get rid of the poison. Well, no, because there's that blue herb patch. So never we, maybe we don't have to. Never mind. It ain't that big of a deal. I am slowly bleeding, or poisoned, or whatever. But I have a heal, so I can heal myself if I get Nikashin. I thought ahead, just... <laughs> not far enough ahead to grab the fucking battery. Oh my god, that upsets me. So much. Mm. All right. So, uh, in the archive, I might just cut this out and be like, Oh, we had some technical difficulties, and, uh, stuff happened. <laughs> now I'll keep it in. Just for the sake of records. Because people, people will catch me on that one. Kotaku will publish an article and be like, Streamer cheated. Even when he only had, like, one viewer. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's heal up first. Uh, where is it? There it is. Use that. Will this heal us to full? Yes, so now we're fine. We're gonna swap this out for a first aid spray. 
And we're gonna grab that freaking battery. Full inventory, but I don't care. Because we're gonna use the battery. I don't know if we'll need the crank anymore. <sighs> this is gonna cause a lot of backtracking for no reason. So sorry for that. Because after we get the battery done, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna save and then we're gonna head into whatever that waterfall is. Meow. Also, now that I've fought in the lizard people, I remember that from the old PS1. You can go look at the original boxes for like the PS1s and they have pictures of Resident Evil and one of them has the lizard people on it. There were various different boxes for like different regions and stuff. And I remember doing research for when I was looking for a specific game. The game was swag, man. It's not very good. But yeah, and I remember seeing Resident Evil and I just like remembered that when I was thinking about it last night. Pretty great. They spoiled a lot of stuff with this game when it came down to trailers and stuff. It's definitely not as big of a game as I thought it was going to be. Just double check and have the battery. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I could have put the crank away! Oh my god. Because we were going to go back to the box. That's fine. I'll go turn the water before we save. Yeah, fuck you, snakes. Aha! Aha! <laughs> Got by you without getting poisoned. Freaking elite strats. Zigzag does fuck us. Okay. I killed the doggos. Herb there. All right. <laughs> okay. And that just brings it back here. Cool. But now, I shouldn't have ran at the camera like that. That was that was bad and dangerous. But now I can use the crank, and then we're gonna go back to the box, we're gonna save, I'm gonna split the archive, and then we're gonna go to the next place. I feel like I'm so close to the end of this game. Or I'm getting there. How much time do I have today? I only have two hours left. Now that's done, go put the crank away forever, hopefully. Unless we still need it somewhere, which we probably shouldn't. I feel like it's just in case we want to turn the waterfall back on. We might need it again. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. Would there be a reason we would need it again that I know of? Because maybe inside the waterfall area there is something we need it for. Also, the fact that we needed a battery just to get around that one little tiny section was kind of a little bit obtuse. That feels like one of those things they did just to lengthen the game out a little bit. But if that ends up being a whole new area, I assume there's going to be a box there, maybe? Just like there was for the residence and the courtyard. But then again, it could just be a small little section, like just like a little tiny laboratory hidden behind the waterfall. And then if it's one of those cases, we'll just be running back to here a bit. Booyah. Alright, store the crank. So we have the metal of the eagle, the jewel box, and we have the metal of the wolf. And the wooden mount. Which I've had since like the beginning of the game, but still don't know what it goes to. I feel like I t should take J-Volt or V-Jolt, but we'll hold on to it for now. Oh yeah, I was going to save. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry, my hair is going into my ear. Hair's a little fluffy today. I didn't let it dry properly. 
grab one of these ribbons. We have eight of them. Yeah, old typewriter will save your progress with an ink ribbon. Save in to slot 12. Oh yeah, save successful. All right. Then we'll go ahead and store the ribbon and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the archive because it's been an hour and a half. So for the people watching on YouTube, I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and all that stuff. And uh, join me on Twitch sometime because I need the viewers. As for people on Twitch, we're gonna keep going. Haha. <laughs>